Okay, well, welcome. Welcome everyone, sales directors, new directors who are listening to this and taking part in this master series. So this is session five. It's part two of new consultant training, new consultant orientation. Again, last week we discussed how we use those words. I use those words interchangeably. So I defined them. So if you haven't listened to the new consultant part one, please stop this and do that first. They're all on my YouTube channel. Also, if you have do not have this handy, this is on my website underneath um, new consultants. And so print this off, stop, print this off, because this is gonna be super handy. Or if you have multiple screens, you could use that too. But this is gonna be super handy because I'm gonna be talking about this, but then I'm going to be doing an orientation with you, like you're the new consultant. So, you know, we talked about last week, there's a welcome, there's orientation, there's inventory conversation, which last week focused on, and there's new consultant training. So today I'm um, focusing more on the orientation, um, which it launches new consultant training, right? Um, new consultant training is boot camp series. It is what you're doing at your weekly success meetings. It's the different things that you're providing for your new consultants, which I highly recommend to get on video. As soon as you have a conversation two times and definitely by the time you have basically the same conversation three times, then you need to record it because you don't need to be doing that personally every time you save your time for the people who are actually doing something with it. You know, the, the soil conditions, that's seed. Those videos are seed and you make your choices based on their choices, not their words. Um, because our love is unconditional, but our time is very conditional. Um, couple things um, that I want to touch on before I go into the orientation with you, like you're the new consultant going over the training packet, making sure they have, you know, they're set up for knowing what their next best steps are and how to resource themselves. Um, last week we talked about the last session, um, getting inventory, you know, getting people up and running with inventory. Something that I want to circle back around with is that you're having them get um, look into their ways of getting their inventory in hand while they're selling and while they're booking and while they're earning their pearls. It's not spend a whole week getting the first order in and then they start booking, especially now in our virtual world. Literally, they can their first night get up and running with the Facebook party, with the Zoom party. And what I have found in our virtual world is just like in the um, in-person Mary Kay world, if someone recruited from a skincare class, she immediately booked skincare classes. If she recruited at a success event, she immediately started to invite guests to the success event. Um, now, if she was recruited through a Facebook Live party, she starts to set up a Facebook Live. If she was recruited through a Zoom party, she does that. If she was recruited with a party with samples, she does that. If she was recruited through QVC style, she does that. That hasn't changed. We just have more avenues they can do it. But I love the virtual avenue because it let, allows someone to immediately, before, even with just a $30 e-start, without a starter kit, between the tools that they have on Mary Kay in touch um, and the tools that you provide for them. Because obviously you as the director want to have parties that they can go to in all those different avenues. So even though you may prefer Zoom over Facebook Live, you still need to know how to do post my party. Do 10 of them so you know it. So that you have the things ready because that could be someone's whole way of building their business. We have seen that. Um, so that's one. They're getting their inventory up and running while they're selling immediately, while they're booking. Because the sooner they sell, the more likely they are going to stick. And if people are selling stuff, they're going to have to order. That, it just That's how it works. Credit Karma um, is something that you may want to do right away. Not everyone's going to qualify for the Mary Kay credit card. And so when people don't qualify and then they think they can't get anything and they don't pursue that, you know, that, that's really for people who have good credit. Um, credit Karma, she can go on to, and it suggests where to go for credit for her situation, because part of our job as a business coach is to help that woman get better credit. That's a business tool. 
to have your credit be good enough that if you need access to, to money, you can get it. You guys, that's important for women. Really important. Mary Kay was real clear. A lot of women stay, and we know, you know, a lot of women stay in really bad situations because of finances. I guarantee you the women that I know that have been in domestic violent situations, part of it's emotional that keeps them in. Some of it's generational bondage. It's what they've seen time and time again. But bottom line, there's very few that have the finances to get out that stay. And so our job is to help them get good credit and build that up. I mean, even if they're paying you know, loan shark rates to get their first little tiny line of credit, they get it, they pay it off. They get more. They get it, they pay it off. Then their interest rate starts to go down. Then they start to get offers like no interest for a year. We can help them do that with their Mary Kay business. Whereas with another job, it's not going to happen. Especially as inflation goes up, people's money goes less far. And so when you're in an inflationary time like we are right now, while well, I'm making this, people, if they couldn't get out of debt or couldn't improve their credit or had bad credit already, it's not going to get any better. It's going to get worse. And we have a vehicle that we can help them. Will everyone take advantage of our coaching and take advantage of what Mary Kay offers them to change their finances? Absolutely not. But our job is to find them. And if we are working with the numbers in the Mary Kay math, we absolutely will. When someone's going on Credit Karma, when she's going on Mary Kay in touch, you screen share with her. So you're there with her every step of the way. Not a fan of sending a link for someone to sign up. Not a fan of sending someone off and doing that all on their own because you lose the ability to coach them through hesitation, fear. You know, you just lose them. They just get scooped up sometimes into this black hole and you never hear from them again. And so screen share with them, walk them through the process with the agreement, take their information, put the agreement online. You know, then they can start the new consultant process right away. Even if you're driving, the agreement's not going to go in later. She doesn't need her consultant number that for a second. She needs your materials that we're talking about that are accessible to her even prior to her having a consultant number. Um, because then if people do have trouble getting a line of credit right away, you can go with the 150 for 99, the 24 for 24. You can start to resource her, you know, do a grand opening, give her a short time period to get that first order in. Cause you guys, it doesn't take 30 days to collect $600. I've seen college students do a 150 for 99 in 24 hours with their moms, aunts, and grandmas. And now that you don't need my physical lookbooks, you don't need my physical product, you can, you have your own website as soon as you start Mary Kay now. That's so wise um, with Mary Kay. They can do a grand opening sale in the first 24, 48 hours and get qualified right away. And if people do not have the credit ability to get their order in in 24 hours, then get their 600 in ASAP. Don't wait to see what else they can get. Because with the ready, set, keep selling, they only miss out on this much product. It's not an all or nothing like it used to be. And so to have her wait, every day that she hasn't ordered product, it becomes exponentially more likely she never will. Exponentially. So get that, you know, first order in, preferably the 600. And it's it's not a month. I mean, everything. Remember last week we talked about keeping the time um, in between every decision and steps moving ahead as small as possible. Um, you're obviously, we talked about two, and that goes right back to master's number, um, the first um, series. Dalian White taught us, do not ever go to a, a party by yourself, ever. Like you're taking a prospective recruit, you're taking a new recruit always with you physically we are taught to take them again it's even easier now even if someone can't physically if you go to a physical party she can facetime in you can zoom her in you can get her in there some way um to watch what you're doing so you know when you have your facebook your zoom your um in-person appointment date bit date book filled up, then you're just telling them when the next appointment is so they can plug into that because then literally you're showing her um, how by leading the marching band. You're not turning around and teaching her how to start her business like she's in the orchestra pit. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I'm talking to you. You're all Mary. 
okay you're mary so i'm talking to you like you're mary and i'm going over you're a new consultant mary in my unit and i'm going to go over some of the things that we did and i'm not doing inventory because we did that last week but i want you to listen as you're listening to this first for how i communicate versus writing down everything i say i want you to listen to how i communicate then i'm going to suggest that you re-listen to it and you listen to and think about why am I saying what I'm saying and how I'm saying it? And then I'm gonna have you re-listen to it so that you can apply and adjust it to your new consultant training process. Um, because so often we get so caught up in how to's that we're not listening to the why's. Um, and that's the most important thing, like why I'm saying this and the way that I'm saying it is based on not just my 35 years experience, because honestly, I always believed in this business 150%. And so when I did new consultant orientations, I was doing them not based on what my experience had been, because at that point in time, when I was earning a car, Debbie Moore was across the country and she was not part of this process. I was recruiting the people myself. I was taking the people to the parties myself in Douglas, Arizona. I was going through orientations with them but I had had, all I needed is I had Debbie go through this with me. I can duplicate that. I don't need her to do that any longer. I can do that myself because I'm representing Mary Kay Cosmetics, not Dawn Otten Sweeney or not Debbie Moore. I'm representing Mary Kay Cosmetics Opportunity for Women and their business plan. So I have always done an orientation with full confidence. And so I want you to listen to that because if you have confidence, you communicate clearly and you also um, communicate in a way that it, it um, is preventative. And so some of the things that I share, um, I share now because of uh, miscommunication or issues with people down the line. You know, I, for instance, in my welcome, you know, you'll hear me talk about coaching and how that works. Because as soon as I would have consultants, you know, not show up at a meeting and um, then say, oh, well, you know, I don't want you to be mad at me. I'm like, what is that? Like, I'm not mad at you. This is your business. Like, it tells me where to invest my time, not how to feel about you at all. This is not you know, good or bad, like I'm going to share with you the choices that someone who's successful in Mary Kay makes. And if you are lining up with those choices, then more than likely, if you don't quit, you're going to be successful. And that's where I'm investing my time. If you choose not to, I'm not mad at you at all. I mean, that if this is your business, but do know, don't expect me to call you and track you down. I'm not your boss. I'm not your mom. I'm not your principal. I'm not your parole officer. I'm not any of those things, nor do I want to be any of those things. I am a leader in Mary Kay and Mary Kay pays me to teach you how to be successful in your business as a sales director, um, as a national sales director. And so that's what my job is. And that's what I'm going to do. You get to decide what you want to do with it. So, you know, as you're listening to me and then re-listening yourself, you know, think of the things that bug you. You know, think of the things that you want to prevent that from happening on the other side. Um, it's just like a skincare class. You know, you'll only go to so many skincare classes and not get any leads, not get any skincare set. So I'll get no sales, you know, and then you figure out either people quit or they say, all right, I'm going to figure out. I'm going to figure out how to get leads. I'm going to figure out how to get future bookings. I'm going to figure out how to do the four part recruiting plan. I'm going to figure out, you know, how to uh, sell skincare, increase sales, et cetera. They're going to listen to boot camp and they're going to figure it out. Um, and it's the same thing. Like you just as a new director, just because you became a new director or a seasoned director that's reevaluating and shoring up the foundation, there are going to be things that you're going to shore up and you get more articulate and more clear and more confident because obviously you're out there building your business too. So, okay. So Mary, are you excited about starting your Mary Kay business? I know we had, yeah. 
I know um, we had the inventory conversation because month end was happening. You wanted to get your products in so you could start to sell and not have to wait potentially until after Thanksgiving. So I know that that's on its way in. Um, I know that you've already read through the training packet. Um, first off, you know, when you look through here, did you have, are there any questions, like anything now that you want me to start with? Questions um, after you read through the success packet or listen to the welcome call? Okay, so I addressed those. Okay, so let's um, get into first the page. I know you're familiar with the inventory pages, but let's go to... It would be page oh my gosh I think it went by it in your training packet all right so page five you made a list of women with skin okay how are you doing on that 20 okay great let's get that up to 45 Look in your phone, look in your Christmas card list, look at your Facebook list. Let's get that up to 45. I know you absolutely um, can do that. Let's go to the Perfect Start Power Start page, okay? So we talked about this briefly. Remember, I know you've already started you know, doing that Facebook party. Um, I know that we got your products ordered, but... Um, there, remember I was talking about there's three like legs to getting your business started on the most solid foundation. One is, you know, getting your products. You have something to sell. One is your learning how to share the product, sell a product. And one is sharing the opportunity. So those three sharing the opportunity, sharing the product, having products on hand. When those three things are all happening at the same time, you're going to be able to move your business forward with the least amount of pushback and forward versus just kind of in a circle, you know, like picture a rowboat with one oar, like going in a circle. Um, so the perfect start slash power start, this is how you're going to learn how to share the product. You can see Mary, there's an exact dialogue there. And I will tell you, I want you to use the exact dialogue because this is how this is going to work. With those 45 people, you're going to use this dialogue. You get to pick if it's virtual or in person. Um, you know, you're going to open up your date book. You're going to pick the times that you want to do these appointments. So you're giving people a choice of blank or blank, not whenever is good for them. Um, and you're going to use this script because this is what's going to happen if you don't. You're not going to get company average results. And I know that this may not sound like you, but that's because um, 10 days ago, you weren't a Mary Kay Beauty consultant. Now you are. And Mary, I know that you are a um, teacher, and so you've had lots of education. And so you also, they, they taught you how to teach. You didn't skip four years of school and then just go in there in front of those second graders and say, okay, you guys, I really um, love math and don't like reading that much, and so this is what we're going to do. No, you're going to get fired really fast. So with Mary Kay, even though this is um, not something you have to go four years of school with, I will tell you, if you will become a student of the scripts and use them until you get company average results, that you have the highest likelihood of being successful in this. And what I have found is that with a new consultant who just wings it on her own, I've never, ever, ever seen that work ever this is what happens they come back no one wants to book everyone's busy it's the holidays i'm like what well, where did busy even come in you ask them for this or this which is available and if you're working during the holiday times you know you're going to call it a holiday makeover versus anything else everything you know from november 1st to december 31st is a holiday because what are they going to say? Oh, no, I'm going to do it after the holidays when it's a holiday makeover. And, you know, we all have seen the lines lined up. I mean, not during the pandemic, but at other times, hairdressers, nail salons, everyone's busier during the holidays. Women are doing this stuff. So the point is, use that script, because otherwise I can guarantee you what the conversation is. Mary, did you use the exact script? And you're going to say, well, kind of. Kind of means not really. And so my response is going to be, Either go back to those people or pick 45 more and use the exact script, and then we're going to have something to work with. 
because I can't tell you if you're getting company average results if you're not doing it the Mary Kay way. Like this is a franchise, just like Chick-fil-A. You don't get a Chick-fil-A and say, you know what? I really don't like waffle fries and my friends don't like waffle fries either. And so I'm going to get tater tots from Kroger's when they're on sale. And that's what I'm going to serve. Again, you're going to lose your franchise. Your business is not going to succeed. It's a franchise. It's tried and true. So your perfect start is using this script with those first just 20 people. My experience has been out of the 20, 10 won't help, 10 will. Five will want to do something by themselves. Five will want to do something with a group of people. That's holding true with virtual and in person. So you use this script. A perfect start is booking eight parties, eight in a two-week time period. You can pick one week or two weeks. Booking eight parties, not booking one and then some from there. Not another one and some from there. Book eight to hold five because that gives room for three to cancel or postpone or just to be total duds. Mary Kay was so wise when she set this up because out of eight booked, more than likely you'll have five hold. And out of the five, you're going to have one party that they don't buy anything. You'll have one that they buy everything. You'll have one that the people are really nice. You'll have one that the people are not so nice and you don't care if you ever see them again. You'll have one that'll just be mediocre. And that, that is how it works. That is the people business, right? So booking eight to whole five is a perfect start. That's 25 to 30 faces is a perfect start. And then from those, you'll be booking eight more to hold five more. So if you do this in your first 30 days, it would be two weeks of a perfect start, two weeks of a power start. Or with the virtual and being able to do a lot of those while you're at your other job teaching, you could do a perfect start your first week, a power start your second week. So at the end, you'll have at least 60 faces. That's called a perfect start and then a power start. So that's how you learn how to share the product. Mary, do you have any, do you have any questions about that, how that works? Okay. All right, let's talk about how you're going to learn how to share the opportunity. And Mary Kay was real clear. We shared the product and the opportunity at the same time. They weren't separated. And it wasn't just the people that wanted to be sales directors or earn cars that were asked to share. Mary Kay Inc. has asked all of us to share and pays you really well to share. And as a new consultant, you get bestie coupons right now. There's, you know, they get bonuses, you get bonuses, you get lots of team building bonuses, cash. You can stack cash and free product as a new consultant. Look at that ready, set, sell brochure. In fact, do you have that handy? Let's pull it out. Let's look. I mean, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars of free product you can get. I didn't get that. I got a couple hundred bucks for my first star order, and I was a star consultant. You can now win trips for being a star. You can now get thousands of dollars of products in cash in your first four months. Like Mary Kay is so generous, and they've made sure that when we say this is the best opportunity for women, it's the best opportunity at all levels. And so the pearls of sharing, you get that for the perfect start and power start you're learning to share the product pearls of sharing you're learning to share the opportunity so right now that facebook party you started last night you want to start to think who do you want to share information about this business and then as your director what i want i ask you to do on this uh, list of women with skin put in asterisks by the ones that you'd most like to work with these are the characteristics that i'm looking for and i give her the characteristics that i'm looking for that i've already shared with you guys um, so who already has these characteristics? Okay. And so what I want you to do is send me a text picture today, by the time your head hits the pillow of the names on this piece of paper. So this is your prospect list for your perfect power start. I want to see the asterisks next to the women that have those characteristics that we're looking for. And, um, then we're going to put a plan together for you. Okay. Because some of them, we're going to do a three-way call. Some of them we're going to invite to this meeting that we have going on. Some of them we're going to sit down because they're local. We're going to put a plan together for you to earn your pearls of sharing. 
And you see on here, when you share the opportunity, that's, you know, your first five practice interviews. So just like your perfect and power start, you're getting their opinion. Same thing with the opportunity. We focus on activity for you to learn the lessons. When you want to earn a car, become a director, make a certain money, then we're going to flip and you're going to have that experience and confidence that turns into results. You start with activity and then we go into results, result-based business. Right now you're an activity-based, um, except Mary, I know you did mention that a free car could be super helpful for you. So we're going to talk about that too, because that would mean that we need to be result-oriented right now this month, because you put a star order in. And so I would really like to see that star order used towards your first month of car production. Um, versus just, you know, giving you the free product and the business start that it did in your star prize. Um, so the pearls of sharing, you can see with five practice interviews, you earn your pearls of sharing earrings. Um, so I'm showing them to her. Um, 10, you get your pearls of sharing bracelet. 15, your pearls of sharing necklace. So the longest you'd want to do that would be during your power start time period. So a month, is that going to be two weeks or a month? Whichever is better for you. And then the bestie coupons I just have a picture of because your first three team members get $25 off their 130 starter kit. Um, so any questions about the pearls of sharing? Okay, so I'll look forward to getting that text from you, right, with those names. And then we're going to put together um, that plan for you. All right, Mary, what I want to do is go back to the steps to success here. Um, actually, you've probably accomplished most of these things. Um, yep, yep. Did you set up your website? Nope. Okay, let's go on. Let's screen share. Let's do that right now. ProPay account? Let's do that right now. Business cards? Let's do that right now. All right, rest of this. Let me go to page eight. Skyscraper unit, important additional information. My YouTube channel, have you checked that out? Nope, okay, no worries. I want you to go on to that. So this is your checklist for today. I'm gonna get that list of 45 people with skin. You can start to box me verbally and tell me what responses you're getting from people because please don't go through 45 and say no one booked. Like after you have two not great answers, not positive responses that they'll help you out, then what I want you to do is on my Voxer, I want you to book me. I want you to pretend like I'm one of those people on the list because I not only want to know what you're saying, I want to hear how you're saying it because that's going to help me coach you better. So on Voxer, I want to see or on my uh, cell phone, that list of the 45 people with skin that are asterisk so that by tomorrow on Voxer, I'm going to have a plan for you for your pearls of sharing and who we're going to um, talk to about in what type of format. Um, but my YouTube channel, I want you to go to and start the boot camp is an audio series. It's right in the top of my homepage. I want you to start a boot camp one. And so every week, Mary Kay told us that we had to listen to something seven times before we had absorbed all of it. So every day while you're getting ready, while you walk, while you cook, while you're waiting in car line, while you're driving to your job, you're going to start to listen to this so that while we go through, there's six of them. So your first six weeks, every week, you're going to start to listen to that because then as you're, I'm coaching you through this process and you're doing this activity, it's evaluated practice so that you're hearing the training that I got from Mary Kay Ash, Daylene White, Debbie Moore, Kathy Hallou, all on that boot camp. Um, so it's evaluated practice. As you're doing things, you don't have to wait for me to give you the answer back. It's going to be right on there, I promise you. And so that's on the YouTube channel, plus lots of other great stuff. And you'll hear me referring to things on there on a regular basis. Um, boot camp. Um, Boxer, we talked about, I haven't seen a message from you. So can I have you do that before your head hits the pillow too? That is what I use to communicate with people most frequently. 
And so on Voxer, you can audio, you can send pictures. As soon as I see you on Voxer, I'm going to add you to our unit Voxer list. And then as I have people, if you um, do choose to make the choices to be on target for your car and move up, then there's different Voxer groups that I will put you in for specialized targeted training. So um, I look forward to um, having you message me. I'm super easy to find on Voxer. Also, you see the website. I know you've already been on that for the new consultant training. New consultant section and everything skincare class are the sections I recommend you stay in. There's 35 years of training on there. You could get sucked into that for hours on end. Right now, the everything skincare class section and the new consultant section and then like tomorrow night, we have an area event. Whenever we have area events, you can find under events, monthly resources, all that information. I also have a Facebook fan page. So that's where you can, that's what I use instead of Instagram or Twitter um, I or Facebook. Like don't, you, don't worry if I don't accept your friend request because I have this many friends. Zero. I have zero friends. My Facebook, you can come to me whenever you want, but it's not going to be linked up to the whole how Facebook works and you see everyone's whole life because I don't know about you, I'm way too ADD. And so if I'm seeing what someone's having for breakfast, what exercise clothes they decided to wear at the gym, what their favorite water is, it's like, oh my gosh, like I, I don't have enough time in the day to reach my Mary Kay goals and to be a wife and a mom and a daughter at you know any of the seasons of life that I've been in for 35 years. And so um, mine, you're gonna go to um, when you choose to, and that's where I do area recognition. That's also where I post, you know, just what God's laying on my heart, what I'm thinking, interesting podcast, etc. If you want to know about who I am and what God's doing through me, that's a great place to go. And then the last thing on is Mary Kay attire. And so obviously if you're on um, Zoom or Facebook Live, you know, people can only see you from the waist up. So we just want to make sure that from the waist up, you look like you would like Mary Kay to be sitting next to you. Like if Mary Kay walked in here right now, I could say, hey, Mary Kay, come on in. I would be proud. I wouldn't be sitting there going, oh my gosh, I hope she doesn't recognize me. I hope she doesn't know I'm in Mary Kay. In person, it's skirted. And so get a Mary Kay beauty coat and wear that year round. Turtleneck in the winter if you want, you know, cami and skirt in the summer. Um, we have found like our world was already getting more casual. And then with COVID, oh my gosh, like people were wearing pajamas and airplanes before. I can't even imagine what they're gonna be wearing now post pandemic. I'm kind of scared. So, but Mary Kay was countercultural in the early 1960s when women were burning bras Mary Kay said, we will look feminine and we will wear skirted business suits, hose, and closed-toed shoes. And so now it may be tights. Now you may have tan legs. Now you we, more people wear open-toed shoes, but that's not flip-flops. Flip-flops and open-toed professional shoes are different. And so I was always taught that I dress for the position I'm growing into. So if you want people to respect you as a business owner and doing this as a business, then that's how you dress. You're in the image business. You know, when I would go to my kids stuff, I wasn't wearing a suit in southeastern Georgia when it was 158 degrees and 99.9% .9 humidity. But I always looked a little nicer than the moms who just put their hair in a ponytail, a t-shirt, brushed their teeth and were out the door. And so then when I'm asking them to get their opinion or they have a special occasion, they're like, oh yeah, Dawn looks good at stuff. Like I could ask her, like you again, like would you go to a hairdresser? Sometimes when, you know, people share their hairdressers and their hair is a mess, a hot mess. Like I'm not going to go to her. I, I'm not, you know, an accountant that is, you know, being audited continually and having their income, you know, kept by the IRS because they do such a poor job. I'm not going to use that person as an accountant. So position yourself. Like when I started shopping for clothes and outfits to wear, would a Cadillac sales director wear that? When I was not even a red jacket yet, would a Cadillac sales director wear that? And then as a Cadillac sales director, would a trip director wear that? Um, would a national, now I let, it, will an inner circle national sales director wear that? So that just touches on Mary Kay attire and image. Um, we'll talk more about all of these things, but Mary, I look forward to hearing from you before your head hits the pillow.
the picture of the 45 names, asterisks by the ones that we're putting a plan together to get your pearls of sharing earned. I want to hear how you're doing with the script. You've already had it now for a couple of days um, on your bookings, and I want to see you on Voxer, okay? I so look forward to working with you, and I look forward to hearing back from you um, again by the time your head hits a pillow. I've just thrown the ball out to you. Have, I don't know if you've ever played tennis when the person cannot hit the ball back to you, how frustrating it is. Oh my gosh, like you just want to stop. I can't do it any longer. Um, so that's what this is. I've just sent the ball to you. Now you're going to get a response as soon as I get the ball back. Have an awesome day, Mary. I look forward to working with you. And I guarantee you, as long as you promise that you are not going to quit, you're going to be successful in this endeavor. And I'm going to be running with you as fast as you want to go. Okay, so you guys, that takes you through the training packet. You know, this... Um, this part of a new consultant's business is important because you're teaching her to manage expectations. So think of times that consultants have been frustrated or disappointed. It's usually because expectations were here and reality was here. That's that less than sign. Remember in math, less than when expectations exceed reality. So um, this is where you're managing their expectations. And part of that, that perfect start, power start piece is really critical. Because in Mary Kay, we had watered things down to the point that we said a power start was 30 faces. That's not true. When Mary Kay talked about a party, it was five to six people. When we start to put four trays in a starter kit so that we could keep it at a hundred bucks, people start to say that five parties was, a party was three or four people. Can you see how your results, you're setting them up for false expectations that a power start is 30 faces? It's not. And 30 faces, especially when you mix in a new consultant's lack of confidence in the product and the opportunity, virtual and her lack of skill 30 faces is not enough to even know what she doesn't know it's not enough to go on target for a car it's not enough to become a director or maintain a unit it's not booking eight to whole five we evolved into this place that directors were just doing grand openings everything was like it was like so heavy like the grand opening had to do everything and they didn't do it for two weeks and then two people showed up and it didn't help get a 600 in anyways Oh, those days are gone. I'm so grateful those days are gone. They need, they're behind us. Like we did what we had to do without a flip chart, without a skincare class video, but now that's no longer an issue. So it's making sure that you are giving her realistic expectations. Book eight to whole five, 25 to 50, 25 to 30 faces is a perfect start. Book eight to whole five more. So that would make it 50 to 60, 55, 50 to 60 faces for a power start. Um, you are teaching women, um, and you are paid to teach women how to make choices like a successful Mary Kay person. That's what a sales director does. You're paid to teach women how to make successful choices. Um, Mary Kay math is one out of five sign up. And then out of the five, a third order the first month, a third, the second, a third, none at all. So if you only have three people, don't expect more than one to order and actually get up and running that first month. It's not that you are you don't have the right people or that you're not a good director or you're not doing a good orientation. It doesn't matter what your training packet is. You don't have enough numbers. You need more agreements going in. Evaluate the numbers first. As a new director and as a director wanting to grow from where you're at to the next place, a gold medal every month, I think is the railroad track for that out of five you're gonna have three order out of five i mean that's what five times 12 that's 72 i think i'm just like going off the cuff with my math but it's a lot of people in a year it's a couple units if no one did anything you're still going to be in the equinox probably a cadillac because of that if no one does anything at all so you doing five and then working with the new who will multiply working with the few who will multiply that hasn't changed you the new and the few okay guys so that um is the conclusion of new consultant orientation part two